Okay, students. So next embryology model, this is for your graphene follicle. Actually, coming under your general embryology. So during the maturation of the follicle, we have seen about the how that oocytes are getting converted and what happens to the covering of it. So this is the graphene follicle. So this is the cavity present in it. So that is called as your antrum folliculi. So that is the cavity now this is your oocyte so this is your primary oocyte okay so now this cells are proliferated follicular cells called as membrana granulosa so entire cells actually in the initial stage your oocyte will be covered by flattened follicular cells later on during the maturation all these flattened follicular cells will undergo proliferation to form polygonal cells so it will cover the oocyte like a membrane that's why this is called as membrana granulosa later on in this we will be having formation of small spaces later on all those spaces we used to form this cavity so it is filled with fluid so it is called as antrum folliculi or otherwise follicular cavity now in addition to this you will be having outer covering also that is called as theca interna and the externa that will be outer to this okay theca interna and theca externa theca interna will be cellular and vascular theca externa is made up of fibrous tissue okay so theca interna theca externa that will be outer to this okay now this is the graphene follicle another important point this is i am telling this as primary oocyte okay so this graphene follicle or the matured ovarian follicle attains the full maturity just before ovulation okay so just before ovulation so that point is important so here your primary oocyte is there so just before ovulation you will be having completion of your first meiotic division so first meiotic division will be completed once first meiotic division is completed means here you can see are in the perivitelline space you can see the first polar body then only this will be called as your secondary oocyte so what is getting liberated during ovulation is secondary oocyte okay now this is before the ovulation there is no first polar body here that's why this is only primary oocyte okay so next stage you will be having uh, a completion of first meiotic division so you can make out that first polar body so if you have first polar body here then it is called as secondary oocyte so just before ovulation only that first meiotic division is getting completed so what is liberated during ovulation is secondary oocyte okay so in this model you should be able to tell about the maturity of your ovarian follicle okay so now this is your matured graphene follicle just before ovulation that to before the completion of first meiotic division okay so this is the oocyte so these are the membrana granulosa now this is the cavity formed in that antrum follicle outer to this you will be having theca interna and theca externa theca interna is made up of cells and blood vessels so theca externa is made up of only fibrous tissue okay thank you